Alrighty, now I think it's time for our next program, another international program from the economics, and we would like, and I would like to introduce Kun Nitipum Chira Rayapong, the fourth year student, and Kun Antita um, Talangkit, um, the fourth year students as well. So, สวัสดีครับ. สวัสดีครับ. So good afternoon, everyone, who are watching us from Zoom and Facebook Live. We are representatives of the EBA program. My name is Nidipum Jiraraya Pong from EBA 18. I am a senior year student. And my name is Anchita Talangit, and my nickname is Kyle. I'm also a EBA 18 student, and I am a senior year student. So today, we will be telling you about EBA and why you should choose studying here with us if you are interested in economics. So the big question for people who are interested in studying in this field is what are differences between studying economics and business? So I'm going to be telling you a little bit about what differentiates the two. So economics focuses on the big picture. It studies how people make choices under the condition of scarcity and how to allocate resources, production of goods and services, and welfare over time. So we are able to foresee how the uh, economy is affected by several factors, such as news, policies, taxes, supply, and demand. So for example, it teaches how the government handles uh, global economic issues. Uh, on the other hand, for business, Business degree focuses more narrowly on how the business is run, and it studies various aspects of a firm, such as accounting, marketing, operations, and human resources. If you are interested in studying economics, you have come to the right place. So our university has gained numerous awards and great reputation for being a top university, not just in Thailand, but also around the world as well. So for our university, we are ranked at 208 for the QS World Ranking Awards, and we are also polled in the QS World Top 100 University for best academic reputation. As for in Asia, we are ranked number one for the impact rankings. Specifically for the Faculty of Economics, we are ranked between 201 to 250 for the QS World Rankings by subject, and we are ranked number one for the same award in Thailand as well. Also, for our program EBA, we are qualified by the ASEAN University Network Quality Assurance as well. So here's what you will learn at EBA. So the special thing about our, our course is that we do not offer any major that you can choose from, but rather we want to make sure that students learn all the essential skills and fundamentals of economics so that they may choose themselves which direction they want to go to, rather than having them choose themselves in the first year when they are still unsure of what to do in the future. So in the first year, you will be learning all the fundamentals. So there are microeconomic, macroeconomic, uh, computer application, ASEAN economies, and mathematics as well. In the second year, you will dig deeper into the fundamentals and also cover other topics as well. So there are micro to macro to, uh, my, um, sorry, uh, international trade, international finance, money and financial markets, corporate finance, and econometrics and Thai economy as well. So these are all compulsory courses that you have to learn at EBA. And by this time, you might have an idea of what you want to do in the career of your choice in the future as well. So in the third and fourth year, there will be a, a, a list of elective courses for you to choose from. So these are some examples of elective courses that EBA offers. You can see that from these courses, there are many directions that you can go. So by studying economics, it does not limit what you can be in the future, but rather it leads you into many, many ways. For example, we have behavioral economics, we have data visualization, we have legal issues, and we also have financial econometrics as well. So as the years go by, we try to add new courses every year. For example, in the recent year, we have FinTech and financial transformation. We have Russian and European economies, we have economics of sports and anti-corruption as well. So on to other elective courses, we collaborate with the CAC and offer two courses, which are self-awareness and personal growth and socially responsible entrepreneurship. So we want to emphasize the importance of soft skills because we believe that it plays a role in shaping the student's mindset and perspective. We also offer courses from other international programs as well, such as the Big Data Analytics from BASSAI and Computer Programming in ISE. 
For those who are interested in studying languages, we also offer Mandarin and Korean as well. So like I said earlier, uh, EBA tried to emphasize the internationality and it is one of the key things that we want the students to experience and focus on. Therefore, we have visiting professors from around the world to teach a specific course in a specific field. For example, we have professors in the UK, the US, also in the Europe countries such as France and Italy. And we also have professors in India and Vietnam as well. Students are not limited to study only in July eBay also offers opportunities for all students to study abroad. The two major programs are the double degree program and the exchange program. Let me discuss about the double degree program first. So eBay has collaborated with the University of Bristol in the UK to give students a chance to study at the world-class university that has outstanding teaching and facilities. Students who choose to do this program will be awarded double degrees. One is bachelor degrees from eBay Jula and another is bachelor degrees from the University of Bristol. And the structure of this program is that students are going to study at eBay for two years and at UOB for another two years, which is four years in total. And at UOB, there are three programs for students to choose from, which are BSc Economics, BSc Economics and Econometrics, and BSc Economics and Management. The first two programs accept a maximum of 10 students combined, but for BSc Economics and Management, the program accepts up to just five students. This is a new program offered by eBay, and it is really interesting because students get two degrees within just four years. But if you think that studying at UOB for two years is quite too long, and you still want to go study abroad, but for a shorter period of time, then eBay also have the so-called the exchange program. In this program, students may choose to spend one or two semesters studying at our exchange partners, but this for just third and fourth year students only. And we have around 60 exchange partners in total, and each university has roughly two to five slot seats available each year. Note that each university also have a minimum GPAX requirement. For, exam for, for example, if you want to go to university that are in like top 50 of the world ranking, then the minimum GPAX requirement would be higher than university that are in like top 100 of the world ranking. So grade is very important if you want to go to university that you are looking for. I also did an exchange for one semester. I went to University of California, Berkeley, and I want to spend a little bit of time here to share my personal experience with you guys. So studying at Berkeley is completely different from studying at Chula. The setting like classroom environment and library is full of pressure and competitiveness because everyone there is so concentrated on the lecture and studying really hard. When I was there, I was on my own, and there is no friends like in Jula that I can discuss with or ask for their help. But all of these challenges and struggles helped me grow up, and I learned how to deal with problems on my own. In terms of living, I live in a student housing with a roommate from Singapore and other international students, so I met several new international friends, and we exchanged cultures, ideas, and thoughts. And all of this is really opened up my mind. And one of the things I really like about my exchange is that I get to choose whatever I want to study. So when I was there, I took data visualization and data science courses like STAT 133 and Data 8. And these courses taught me new skills like Python and R programming language. So an exchange program is also an opportunity for students to study something new or what they are interested in apart from econ. And the last thing I want to mention about my exchange is Thaisa or Thai Student Association. I was so lucky that there is a Thai community there and I've met so many new Thai friends and I spend most of my time with them. I become close to them very quickly, 
because Taisa consistently has events and activities throughout the semester. And these are some examples of events and activities that I have been participated in while I was there. So there are Song Grand Day, graduation ceremony, Asian night market, Rap Nong Day, and other activities like hiking and game day. So all in all, going to Berkeley is the best experience so far in my life. I have grown up and learned how to live independently, which is something that I would never experience if I choose to stay in Thailand. But note that this is just one cultural setting. There are so many other universities that students can choose to go to exchange. And other places would definitely have different experiences and environment. Now I will be discussing job preparation for the students. So there are three things that I want to focus on, which are internship, career services, and career talk series, which I will go one by one, starting with internship. So these are the example of companies that most EBA graduates would go work at. So as you can see, the list is very diverse. There are many directions that you can go. And uh, the companies that people most work at are Lazada, Shopee, Banks, Accenture, Ogilvy, and even Sets or the Bank of Thailand as well. Next up, we have career services. So like I mentioned earlier about the importance of soft skills, EBA also wants to help the student learn other essential skills to reach their goal as well. So for this, we have this career month where we would invite guest speakers and experts to give information and knowledge about a specific topic and a specific field. So we would inform the students about the topic and who's coming to speak, and the students are able to join the session at a given time and discuss with them firsthand. Examples of topics include digital marketing, UX, UI design, and blockchain. So for those who are unsure of what to do in the future or are interested in any of these fields, you are able to join the session at any moment, and EBA does have this service to help the students as much as they can. We also have a social best bootcamp, which is a workshop offered by the Faculty of Economics. So this is to help the students learn outside the classroom. And similar to the previous one, uh, they would invite guest speakers, experts, alumni, and other people to help the students learn new things and develop their skills. As you can see on the right, these are examples of meetings and the activities that the students would get to do with the experts. But since last year, COVID was still going on, the meeting was held online. But in this year, it is expected that the meeting will be held uh, in person. The last one is the career talk series. So we have alumni to talk to the students about their work experience, but on the slides, as you can see, we also have the intern talks as well. So we would uh, invite the third or fourth year students who have experience in internship to help the freshmen also for more students learn about the experience in interning and how it is like. So they will be sharing their experiences. And as you can see, the field of work is very different and varies by person. So for example, they are consulting, manufacturing and technology, and banking and research. These are examples of what it is like. So students will get to do activities, ask questions uh, firsthand from the experts, and learn at the same time. So you will get to connect with new people, meet new friends, and do activities, and develop not only a level of social skills, but also learn new things, and further your goals in what you want to do in the future as well. Next up is the extracurriculum. So EBA does offer two field trips, which are domestic field trips and abroad field trips. First up, we have an overseas educational trip. So this one is considered the most looked forward trip for the EBA students and graduates. So the students will be traveling abroad for a period of six to seven days. And this takes place in week three and week four in May. And the country of visit will change every year. And the purpose of this is for the students to visit the partner universities and gain institutional and cultural experience firsthand. The cost of this trip is also subsidized by the EBA partially. So this trip is considered the highlight of EBA because the students will get to spend time with their friends, having fun while learning new cultures, and they will get to sit in lectures in the partner universities as well. So they will get to do fun activity with their peers and learn something new at the same time. These are the example countries that we have visited. So we want to make sure that the students will get a unique experience from this trip. So we try to broaden the choices of possible countries that the students can go. For example, we have Switzerland, Belgium, Germany, Swiss, uh, Czech, New Zealand, and Netherlands. 
for clubs and societies, we try to keep the choices pretty diverse. So every student has different interests and different passions. So we try to cover that as much as possible. For example, we have consulting club, international club, debate club, sports club, such as basketball or football. And we also have activities such as library camp and children develop camp as well. So they will get to be volunteers and help other people uh, in their choice of uh, the activity that they want to do. And these are example pictures from EBA's International Club. As you can see, EBA students will get to hold events and activities for the incoming exchange students. So there are cooking class, boxing class, fishing, planting, and they will get to visit other provinces in Thailand as well. So this is a really good thing for the students in EBA because they will get to connect with people of different backgrounds. They will get to exchange knowledge. And Another thing about the culture differences, so this is a really good experience for them, for both the exchange students and the EBA students. For those of you who are interested in studying at EBA, this is our admission requirement. So in brief, to apply to EBA, students must have a GPEX of at least 2.75. And for English proficiency test and math test score, it has a weight of 35%. For the interview, it has a weight of 30%. But note that not all students who pass our minimum requirement of English and math tests will get to interview. EBA will first do a short list, and then EBA will invite those who are qualified to the interview session later. For the tuition fee, our regular semester tuition fee has a tuition fee of 105,000 Thai baht. And for the summer session, the tuition fee is 47,250 Thai baht. Students are required to take the summer session for their first two years at EBA. This is also an opportunity for students to study with our foreign visiting professor during the summer. At our program, we also have scholarships, and there are two types of them. The first one is fellowship scholarship. This is for students who have an outstanding economic performance. And there are up to 10 fellowships per batch, and seven of them are for Thai students. Students who get this fellowship do not have to pay the program tuition fee. They are required ju just to pay the university fee. And the second one is assistantship scholarship. This is for students who want to devote their time to help with the work at eBay. And these students do not need to have an excellent academic record. There are up to 15 assistantships per academic year, but this is for just second to fourth year students only. And there are several positions for the assistantships, including graphic and media, career services and alumni networking, social contribution, and exchange students. EBA program also assists students who have financial difficulties, but this will be considered case by case. Talking to this point, you may be wondering where will an economic degree take you, or which job areas will students be working in after the graduation? I often hear people saying that economic students are limited to only work in banks, but that is not true at all. Here are some examples of our alumni who work in different job areas. Piping from EBA 10, he is currently working as a managing consultant at Tam Consulting Company. And next is Pibu from EBA 13. He is a proprietary trader at CGSCIMB, which is a security firm. Pi Pan Pan from EBA 12, she is also work in finance department. She is an institutional equity sales associate at the Citibank. And lastly, P. Ant from eBay 14. He is currently working at Lyman Wong Nai as an strategy and business analytics. And today, he is here with us as well. He will be sharing his eBay life experience. Hi, Kapi Ant. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Ant. So I work in data analytics and also business analytics. And right now, I'm in Laman Wong Nai, as you know, it's a food delivery company. 
Yeah, so I have been working as a data analyst for three years, and I'm so glad that you invite me here. Um, your position is very interesting. Many of my friends also want to work in data-related job. So we are wondering why you choose to study economics in the first place. Okay, to be honest, actually, I didn't know why I chose to study economics. So at that time, I chose by uh, crossing out the choices that I know that I don't like, that, that how I chose. But if I could go back in time, I might, I might try to research more about job market, try to understand what are jobs out there, what do they do, and what skill do, do they need to become those kind of of career positions. Yes, that would be my suggestion. Okay, I see that you uh, now like economics by now, but I want to ask, what do you like the most about EBA? Like, are there any specific skills that you learn from studying here? Okay, for about skills, of course, the, the first thing that you equip from EBA is the theories related, related to economics, like economics, investment, finance, and some of business knowledge um, but the second thing that you might not notice while you're studying is the logical thinking that you equip from this faculty and the last thing surprisingly I also start to learn coding um, Python 3 from this faculty as well um, from when I went to an exchange program in the Netherlands Rotterdam yeah, I think that analytical, analytical skills and logical thinking is a very important skill in every job area. And how about in terms of experience and social life? What was it like at EBA? Uh, I have to say that EBA students are chill. We, we like to do activities. And my suggestion is if you want to make friends, I, I think it's a good opportunity to join those kind of activities, we have a lot of activities, like we have sport clubs, um, we have also a two-week camp that we went to rural area to have some activity with the villagers, the students, and get to, to live a different life. And my friends that I hang out with right now are also from those camp. And we also have so many special events. We used to have concerts at the back of our faculty when we invite like Stam Apiwat, uh, Slot Machine, uh, it's a lot of fun and to organize that kind of concert is, is a great experience. I feel like that's a great advice. So what about your work? How do you apply what you've learned at EBA to your work right now? Okay, so for the theories that I mentioned, the specific theories, of course you will get to use to apply those to some specific career if you join like uh, the banks or the investment banks you have to equip those kind of skills um, but for me I am a data analyst so what I need is the coding skill and statistics statistic skill so um, to apply to those job I have to study to, to do self-study but what I equip from the faculty, the statistics and coding, that helps me a lot to, to self-study. It's easier for me to study on my own. And about the logical thinking, this one is so crucial, so important, that everyone from this faculty used to, to apply to their own jobs. Because um, to, to see the picture, this kind of skill is like, when you get some tangled uh, problem that is not obvious how to solve this problem, we will have skill to like break it down into like uh, organized parts that is clearer like how to solve that or what to look for. Yeah. I see. And compared to students graduated from other fields, especially business, um, what are the strengths of economic student, in your opinion? Yeah, I'll, I'll go back to this same skill, the analytical skill. 
I think this is so obvious that we, this, this is our strength. Like we can work on a vague problem pretty well. And like we will also have an um, impactful presentation because we know how to prioritize or organize what to present, what to solve. Yeah, that, that is how we think as an economist. Okay, so uh, the last question for us here is, what advice or guidance would you give prospective students? Like for high school graduates who are still unsure of what they want to do, what can they expect from studying at EBA? Okay, so first, um, try to revise what I said again or go to the faculty website to revise those again, what you get if you join this faculty. And yeah, as I suggested earlier, try to research about job market. I think it's not too early to get a LinkedIn profile while you're a student because you get to know uh, what, what are the jobs out there and what they are looking for. And you can also use that to find inside yourself. Like you, you get to know yourself more and this will help you decide better. But the other advice that I'll give to you is that um, in my perspective, I think right now we are living in an information age. Like we are so rich of information. Like uh, we all have information, the same information. You go to Google, you can access any, any information. But if you want to be different, you want to be outstanding, I think it's about execution. So it's not too, too early to, to do anything. If you have a good idea, great idea, just try to execute that. And if you think you have a good idea, but you have to wait a little bit more to wait for the right time to execute that, I think you might have a have too big idea. You might need to change that or break that a little bit to be it, to make it small enough to execute right now. Yes. Okay, thank you so much, Pian, for being here with us today. We really appreciate your time. So uh, that's it for our presentation. If you're truly interested in studying with us, you can see our contacts right here on the slides. And don't forget to visit our website. So as you can see, uh, there are many good things waiting for you here at EBA. So don't forget to give us uh, a contact. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. This is a wonderful and informative, you know, programs about economy. <laughs>